Hi from the Book Tart. It's time for my random reading, or semi-random, we'll see. Um, and I've had a question or two about my bookshelf here, and what are these books doing sideways? <sighs> it's because I'm lazy. I'm trying to catalog all my books, and the ones that are sideways are ones that I have not cataloged. I have not entered them into my database. I haven't typed in their ISBNs. <sighs> They're books that I've bought within the last 18 months and I just haven't caught up. Yeah, I'd much rather be reading than typing in the books I own. I'd love somebody to come and do that for me, especially because when I start to um, go through my books, I get sidetracked. And I don't get much accomplished because I pick up a book, I'm like, ooh, Sherilyn Kenyon, Alterance, or uh, Anthology, Dudley Love. No, this is Dudley Promises. My bookshelf right here is mostly paranormal romance, and these are some of my favorites. I have Sherilyn Kenyon, Christine Feehan, Marjorie M. Liu, Nalini Singh, Jacqueline Frank. Cressley Cole, uh, my hardbacks are at the bottom. Over here I have Laura Adrian, Alyssa Day, Lilith St. Crow, Rachel Kane, Kay Hooper, Linnea Sinclair, she writes sci-fi fantasy. Who's sideways over here? Oh, like almost all of my Janet Chapman books. She writes, um, these Highland warriors who are, it's time travel, but not like to the past, time travel to the present. And they're really fun. <laughs> so like all of my Janet Chapmans are sideways. Angela Knight, Laura Lee, Laurie Handlin, um, Larissa Ione, Noah Roberts, JD Rob, JD Rob, JD Rob. I have way more JD Robs than I have Noah Roberts because that's just my thing. I have Katie McAllister over here. Mm, Mary Janice Davidson sideways. Mary Janice Davidson doing it right. Ooh. I should read something from Mary Janice Davidson. She has amazing, entertaining dialogue. Um, Christine Warren, Christina Dodd, Aaron. Aaron who? Pfft, my hair. Aaron McCarthy. Fallen. It's a really pretty cover. And that one was sideways, right? Okay. Um, Anna, Anya or Anya? Anya. Anya Bast. And then I have the next. The rest of these shelves over here are filled with Jane Ann Krentz. I love, love, love Jane Ann Krenz, Romantic Suspense. She also writes Paranormal as um, Jane Castle and Historical as Amanda Quick. And I also have her Silhouette Romance books and her her Candlelit Romance, uh, Ecstasy Romance, written as Jane Castle. I have nearly all of those. I got them on eBay about 10 years ago. And I have her Jane Castle Guinevere Jones set, which was actually just released last week, I believe, in ebook. So you can get those without paying a lot of money. I paid a lot <laughs> to try to finish my collection. They're really pretty though. Um, romantic suspense. Yeah, so I have those the Guinevere Jones Jane Castle books. And that takes up um, my four shelves. And then I have more books down the hall. And maybe I'll walk my camera around and show you. And books behind my bed, and books upstairs, and books in my loft, and books under my bed, and books in my closet, and books everywhere. And then I do have books on my e-reader, my iPad. But as you can see from this, ooh, and I just shook the world. <laughs> I much prefer print, but I am starting to run out of room. Yeah, so that's that's just a little bit about my collection. 
<sighs> okay, so let's see about reading a random uh, <laughs> section. I think you can see me. Okay, I'm not sure where the camera can point. All right, dun dun dun. Where she stops, nobody knows. And I've got undead and unemployed. See, semi-random. I knew which shelf it was on and I was trying. Um, <laughs> undead and unemployed is by Mary Janice Davidson. It's about Betsy Taylor who um, becomes queen of the dead. And she loves shoes and she's very snarky. And uh, let's see. <sighs> Can I read this? Okay. Um, page 60 of Undead and Unemployed. There's a note. Super vamp. We accepted the offer on the house and Jessica's found us a new place. Meet us at 607 Summit Avenue, 10 p.m. to check out the new digs. Oh Lord, what did she do? What did she do? I crumpled the note in my fist. Summit Avenue? I did not like the sound of that. I looked around my room. There were six empty boxes stacked neatly in the corner. An unsubtle hint to pack. I showered, changed clothes, and brushed my teeth. I had no idea if other vampires still brushed their teeth. And I didn't care. Think of the morning breath as someone who drank blood for supper. I flossed, too, and used mouthwash, although the sharp medicine mint smell was enough to make me gag. I was getting ready to walk out the door after tripping over the boxes in the living room when I heard a tentative tap and opened it to see Tina standing on the step. "'Thank you so much for sticking Sinclair on me,' I said by way of greeting. "'He came to my work.' "'He did?' she asked innocently. She was dressed like a crime about to happen in a red pleated miniskirt, short-sleeved white sweater, black tights, black flights, flats with silver buckles. Her light blonde hair was caught back from her face with a red headband. She looked about sixteen years old. "'Now that I think about it, she pursed her red lips thoughtfully. He mentioned he might go to the mall to see you. Nice try. I'm not buying it. He doesn't take a dump without running it by you first. So, um, that's page 60 of Undead and Unemployed. And I get a kick out of the series, especially the first few. Um, so if you're in the mood for silly, uh, humorous vampires, take on vampires take a look at Mary Janice Davidson. Also take a look at my website and you can see the bit of my collection that I have catalogued which is about 600 books so a fraction of my collection I'm guessing I have about 3,000 or so um, but anyway some of them are catalogued and you can take a look most importantly at the new fiction release database you can see um, what books are coming out in the month of August and scroll through them by date and search by author and title. So make sure to visit. I have contests going on sometimes. I definitely chat about books. And I love to meet other people who love to read books too. All right, thanks from the Book Tart.